You don't have to even be watching this for one second before you know that a fight is about to ensue. That's just how it goes. I'd be surprised if WWE had a food segment with no fight. Funny how our truth is rapping and yet nobody is paying the least bit of attention. Honestly, seeing Sheamus' hair not in a spiked mohawk makes it look even more awkward than it already was. What dumbass puts Cool Whip on their hot dog? That's disgusting. So we got our truth and Goldust rapping, we got Apollo Crews facing Cesaro in an arm wrestling match, and Heath Slater putting whipped cream on everything. This 4th of July gathering is already weird and we haven't even got to the fight yet. Apparently the VOD villains can easily throw our truth and Goldust off the stage simply by saying go away. <laughs> Bubba Ray Dudley is addicted to vaudeville music. There's way too much voices talking for me to understand what the hell's even going on. Probably why I don't like hanging out at big parties or gatherings. Ruined by a food fight. Just by saying that, The Miz has just announced the beginning of the food fight. Too many reminders that the segment occurred earlier today. We get it already. Today is all The Miz said he didn't want any food fights to occur, so chocolate syrup toppings will have to do in this case. <laughs> Who's playing that music? Kevin Owens is honestly the smartest guy in this situation, although hiding under the table was only a temporary spot. The other smart thing to do is run for the door and escape. <laughs> I'll remove his sin because it's awesome to see Apollo and Cesaro ignore the fight completely despite being covered in food themselves. They are really determined to finish their arm wrestling match. Who the fuck put a band-aid in Chris Jericho's plate? Whoever did that should make the list. And now we got the cameras covered in food. Thanks a lot, now we can't even clearly see the food fight going on. Okay, I'm removing another sin. That was hilarious. I guess it's all fun and games until someone gets put through a table. Haha, right <laughs> I get that reference. No, this would never happen on Canada Day. True, because WWE completely ignores Canada Day, assholes. Personally, I think I should have aimed a little better when I did that. <gasps> oh shit! 